I think after a while the T-Rex does get a bit dangerous, so... Really? Uh, well... Really? You think after a while the T-Rex gets dangerous? I've heard that as a rumour, yeah. I've seen movies where he's got a lot of HP now. He's, he's okay now, though. He's, he's, he's huggable. But watch, Hello. I could just drop a pork chop on him like this. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah! Careful! There you go, and he catches him in his mouth. There oh. you go, two pork chops for you. Good boy! It could be a girl. Good girl. What, do you reckon it is a girl? I don't know. How do you check? Uh, you have to I ask it questions about... I don't, I don't see anything dangling. Uh, has it seen Twilight? You know, because that usually will indicate that it's a girl. Or... T-Rex, what do you identify as? Right. I think it's... Let's just go... Look, it doesn't... It doesn't matter what it is, all right? We're not judgmental as druids. It can be it can be whatever, it can be a clown if you want to. It can to be. be anything. It can identify as a dragon. A clown. A T-Rex that identifies as a dragon. He kid. could identify as Pluto if he wants to. Pluto? The planet. Oh, it's not a planet anymore, is it? It's um a celestial body. Is it a celestial body? <sighs> it's a minor planet, I believe. It's a minor Oh, it's it's a, it's a planet full of miners. Uh, it's a dwarf planet. <laughs> it's a dwarf planet. Oh, so Simon lives there. Well, I don't know. Do you know? I, I don't know what it's classified these days as. But the problem is, it, 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 the problem is, it shouldn't be classified as a planet because it's not a planet. Well, <sighs> what what does something have to be to be a planet? The problem is, is that we always are taught. People are very when you name things shit. People get very attached to them. I don't know if you've noticed this. That's why you never name a pig that you're going to kill. That's right, because it will. Because suddenly you won't want to kill it anymore and you'll feel bad about it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. If you knew, if you ever, every time like you had to go to a restaurant and you had to order a steak that was like, this is muffin, you know, you're going to eat like a, sl a slice of muffin, mm. you'd be feel terrible. If you were presented with a photo of a lovely smiling cow and you were said today you're going to eat muffin, people get very attached to things with names. You it's be true. Be careful. It's true. It's really true. One time I baked a loaf and I named it Frank. I just didn't want any bread after that. Yeah, well, that's, that's what happens, Shin. Yeah. You have to be very careful. I should have given it, like, um, like the name of somebody you hate. Yeah, name something after somebody you hate. Vladimir. Like Voldemort. Voldemort, yeah. Name name your pets that you're going to kill and eat if you do that with your two pets. Yeah. Name them after, after villains. But even they weren't, like, inherently evil, necessarily. They... Well, they were pretty evil, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Voldemort, people, but... Voldemort's pretty high on the evil scale, you know, the I whole mean, murder but, and stuff. But people, the thing about villains is, Shin, that they don't ever think they're what they're doing is villainous. They it's think just, they're righteous. They're forwarding their own goals. They think that they're doing it, the, the reason they're doing it is for a good reason. Even Sauron. Even Sauron. He believed... That what he was doing was righteous shit. Really? He thought he was a good guy? Yeah, He's... all the way up to the end. All the way up to the end. He never knew he was evil. Well, actually, I'm not sure about Sauron. <laughs> Sauron was like evil incarnate, wasn't he? Kind yeah, no, like... no, it's true. It's true about real people. Like, Hitler thought he was a good guy, but he wasn't. Well, no, not really. And, um, yeah. Gandhi? He, he turned out to villain. be a right asshole. Villain, yeah, he thought he was good. Nope. <laughs> Big jerk. <laughs> No. <laughs> then there was oh who else? Mother Teresa. She's a real villain. Do you know who? Do you know what? Mother. Ter ironically, as you say that, Shin, because Mother Teresa oh. was actually horrible. No, really? she was horrible. She was a horrible person. There's a lot of evidence that's Ooh. come out lately that showed that she wasn't. That she was just basically she had a really good PR team. Yeah, that's true. She wasn't actually very nice at all. She did a lot of nasty things. I for think. real? Yeah. Are you, are you, are you, for real? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people who are really outspoken critics of Mother Teresa. She was just this, she had this amazing PR campaign after she oh, died. Man. Or actually, even, well, maybe while well, she was still what? alive. She's dead now. Do you think, do you think her agent's free? <laughs> Is her PR agent free? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hmm? I heard that on um, one of these podcasts. I think it was either Freakonomics or something like that. I think Putin, Putin could use, could use some, some of that, that good PR right now. God, really? Some of that Putin? Put it in there. Some of that poutine. Uh, let's carry on with this. So I'm b slowly building out this um, this uh, fish tank. Yeah, yeah. You'll have to come and have a look and see what you think. It's kind of like a new Stonehenge. New, new, new Stonehenge. Yeah. Imagine Stonehenge if it was made into a big cobblestone fish tank. And it wasn't quite as bad. Well, it's just as bad. Right. Um. But also, it's more, oh! it's more roomy, I would say. 
So I'm going to fill in these holes with glass, and then I'll fill oh, the whole thing up with water. That's going to be amazing. Oh, and look, you've cleared that whole area here that we can use for another pen. That's right. Oh, that's amazing. I love it. Shall I? I'm going to, I'm going to build uh, a dinosaur viewing platform right. with some stairs where we can, like, watch the dinosaurs and just, like, look after them and, and eat pina coladas and drink, drink steak. Okay. Dinosaur steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, 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 no. We can't eat the dinosaurs. Well, no, we'll... that's fine, Shin. I was talking. I was reading about this zoo that actually sold sells like um, sells like the uh, the animals in the restaurant. So you can actually go to like a zoo, look at giraffes, and like eat like giraffe steak. I'm not sure that's right. Actually, I'm not sure you could do that actually. But I think the way they had like deer and boars and things, and had too many of them, right. and so they they like culled some of them and then sold them in the restaurant. And they can you can actually go to like these certain zoos and eat. Animals like deer and venison and, and uh, wild boar. I guess if there's too many of them in the zoo. Okay. Well, it's not really a zoo as in like they don't just like grab one out of the cage for you. It's not like an expensive restaurant. <laughs> right. Like in some restaurants, like in Japan, you know. Well, I mean, the classic thing is you can like pick a lobster, can't you? Out of yeah, a yeah, yeah. They can say, "I'll have that lobster," and you pick dinner, the please. juiciest, most lively one. But there's like a restaurant in Japan that someone went to, and um, you basically can. There's like a fish tank in there, and you actually have to fish a fish out with a fishing rod. Oh, no way! And sometimes it will take like a couple of hours to get one. That's a hungry hour. I know. And then like if you get one eventually, they'll uh, they'll sushi fight it for you. And if you don't get it, then they'll just give you some other stuff that someone else has caught, I guess. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a dinosaur park. And if you want to eat a dinosaur, you have to catch him. We can give them really like subpar weapons as well. Do you think that would be, do you think people would be up for that? Like if it was a farm that you, a farm restaurant, okay, and you went and you, it, for example, it's, it, you had to, imagine there were pigs and sheep and chickens on there. Yeah. You had to go in and you had to strangle your own chicken and then they would like prepare it for you in the kitchen. That'd be horrible. But I, I think people would go for it as a one-off, but then they would never do it again. Really? Do you think yeah. that would make the vegetarians as well? Yeah, I think it would. I think it would kill her appetite and the chicken and, uh, and their soul. I mean, it wouldn't be cruel. It wouldn't be. It would be nice. I mean, in fact, it would probably be a lot, a lot, a lot more less cruel than a lot of the factory farming like methods that are, you know, routinely used for people who yeah, eat meat. Could... You know. So, yeah. I mean, to be honest, it might be a, a, a better, better sort of situation. They could put some nice music on, like some some Dido. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to be a hunter again. Snap. <laughs> oh no, no, but yeah, I think this is a really good idea. We can make like a family restaurant, right? And yeah. like we've got on the menu, it's got T-Rex, Spinosaurus, and like the family comes in and they're like, oh, I've never had T-Rex before. I'm quite excited about this. So they say, I'll have the T-Rex. And they're like, very good, sir. Come with me. And then they push you into the pit and they throw you like a wooden spear. Yeah. And then the you gates come up for it. And the T-Rex comes out and the music starts. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. I love it, Shin. This is amazing. Oh, I found some salt. We might need that for cooking up steaks later. That that is how you earn your food. That is that is yeah. You would you would enjoy that steak more than any other steak you've ever eaten. Well, I'm really sure. doing a shin here, by the way, because I'm just like starving to death because oh. I haven't eaten for ages. Is, are, we, are we are we are we really doing that? Are we really calling it doing a shin? Yes. It's when you just when you just basically play for an hour on, on one <laughs> one heart of hell. <laughs> Because but you can't be asked to eat. It doesn't go down any further. I don't know. I'm 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 good now. I'm I'm keeping keeping my hunger up. I'm, I've got some plums here. Are you? Yeah. Have you? I mean. Well, we built a plum tree, didn't we? I did. I put true. one over by Spiny. That's true. We did. Steelish. Ah, oh, it's a great looking great looking uh, pen though over there. Thanks, the man. Tank. I'm just filling in the holes now. It's definitely big enough as well. It looks huge. Now, hopefully, it'll be nice and roomy. Spinosaurus is 46. So it's too deep in the middle. Do you want me to make like a three deep area? Actually, no, I'm going to fill the whole thing up with water and I want to put glass in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How are you going to do that? Are you going to put like a layer of wood, maybe, or something, or dirt, and then put the water on the top and then remove the layer of dirt so it all flows down and fills up? I hadn't thought about that, Shin. How are we going to do it? That's that's a really good way of doing it. All right, so hang on. So we want to put a whole layer of dirt along the top. And then just one block down, one, so we can fill that layer with. And like, then we water. remove that layer, and mm. it all flows down and fills the whole thing up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. I so think that's how it works. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, that's a really good plan, Shin. I'm just gonna make um, some furniture for us to watch on the dinosaur viewing platform. Actually, we should convert this into like a little bit of a restaurant. 
like a dinosaur restaurant. So, Di- and you can actually once you've killed your pig that you're going to eat, you can actually throw scraps of it to the T Rex. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and he'll like he'll like catch them in his mouth. He'll get really fat though. Oh, he will, but like that's good because that's we good because then gonna... he won't we want to escape. No, we go and on also a rampage. we can sell him for more because people want to eat him. And, and the like, other oh. thing is, obviously, the thing is, if our business doesn't go well, then we don't get many customers. The T Rex is going to get hungry and then like escape, get mad. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's we just... need to. It's, there's an added incentive for us to keep the business going and attract new customers. Okay, I've I've got I've got some lawn flamingos. Yay! We've completed our quest. Have we? Oh yes. Is this going to be the Lord of at the restaurant? Then? Da, da, yeah. Da, oh, da, I love da, it. Da, 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 da. Oh. I, I was worried we were like stuck, like having trouble because last episode we were a little bit like boring. I think with the you whole. You reckon? Well, not last episode, but last session when we were building the tools Oops. and stuff. Like, who cares about tink? I've done that a million times. I hate dinosaurs and, and restaurants are where it's at. And pink flamingos, lawn flamingos. How's Spiny doing? Yeah, he's he's. Do you wanna? Can I? Do you know what? We should make a zoo. Oh, he's full. He's fine. He's at forty-three out of forty-six. This whole thing should be like a, a, a like a big. There you go, Spiny. You, he just ate a. a, a Do you really feel safe there? This thing is huge now. If he wanted to, he could just look. Like, I'm like Daenerys, out of Game of Thrones. Mother of dinosaurs. Yeah. That's Lewis, right. mother of dinosaurs. I've suckled them on my breast. Oh my god, no! Well, no. not on my actual breast. I used like a, 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 a one of those. Um, Baby bottles, you know, with a teat on it and stuff. Uh, how are you doing up there, Shin? Doing good, doing good. I just... like the lawn flamingos. You like them? They look great. They do. Here's my Mosasaurus egg. Now, do you think I'm going to need to put this in the water or on the land? Oh, I don't know. Mosasaurus. Now, he was a big one. It's definitely aquatic, though, right? Yeah, he was the big water one. Okay. So Probably in the water. I don't sh- know. So just plop him. D- I don't want him to to drown, but I assume he's, he's water-based, he shouldn't drown. All right, I, I'll, I'll throw the egg in there. That's like saying you don't want a fish to drown. I am the mother of dinos, so I will just... <laughs> yeah, you know best, right? I know best, Just yeah. let him suckle on your teeth for the first few weeks and... Uh, and I don't know if he'll escape out of here, though, that's the thing, if I'm not paying attention to him. Oh, he could do, couldn't he? Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Oh, is there any glass which is not crappy textured? Which is connected, I mean. Ah. Uh... Because this glass I'm using here is, is crappy. Maybe it needs to be chiselled. Yeah, or you could make it panes of glass. Mm, that doesn't texture though either. That doesn't. You can make um, stained glass. It might be nice, like a nice blue, to make him think he's in the ocean. He is in the ocean. No, he's not. Well, he's sort of in part of the ocean. It's just sealed off from the rest of the ocean. He doesn't want to be in the whole ocean. There's a dangerous out there. He's, a, he's only my babby, babalina dinosaur. He's not going to know what the world's like. He's not got a mummy. Oh, you know, well, no, I'm he does. Mommy. He's got you. Yeah, but he's not been taught the harsh realities of the ocean. He won't survive out there on his own. He has to stay in the pen. Look, I think this is fine. I think this is... We'll find out. I'll keep an eye on the egg anyway. Can I... Oh, you can't sit on the Decocraft chairs. Can you not? They're just decoration. Oh, that is a shame. Oh. How's, oh, well. it, how's the viewing plan? Oh, it looks good, actually. Yeah, you reckon you like it? It looks yeah. horrible. I like the look of it. <laughs> It's, uh, it's got lots of lawn flamingos. How are you doing, Spiny? Good, good to hear. Um, how long do you think it'll take for the eggs to hatch? Do you know? I don't know, because we... Oh! Oh, there oh, it God, goes! There we go. There's our pleosaur. Is he all right? Oh, look, he's adorable. Oh, he looks amazing. Now, what do we do with him? He literally hatched on camera as well. I know. Oh, my what, God. What do we do with him? We don't feed him to Spiny. Do we, Spiny's looking at him like he's Do we he's, nudge he's him lunch. into the water? Oh, oh. Like that. Is he okay? I guess so. We'll find out. He's not oh. swimming anywhere. There we go. He likes it. Baby plesiosaur. He likes it. He does. Oh, he's so cute. He is adorable. Um, oh, he's making noises. Oh, oh, are you okay? Oh, the um, those things have thorns, I guess. Oh God. Okay. We don't want to get the plesiosaur near those. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we should keep him away from those. All right. Let's fill this in. All right, so he's sort of getting pushed just to the sides. Is that all right? I guess <laughs> Is so. That okay. He'll be fine down there, right? Is he a herbivore or a carnivore? Look, let's get rid of these endices. We don't need them. They're you too reckon? dangerous. Yeah, yeah it's no, too dangerous. Yeah. We don't want them. Yeah, what if he what if he walks over there or swims over and eats them and dies? Well, animals in Minecraft are pretty stupid. Mm. So, there's a very good chance that that will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, well look, he seems to be okay. Should we, f what's, what do he eat? So let me go get my Dinopedia and we'll find out. Okay. Oh, I think this one's hatched as well. Oh, he has, he's like a croc. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, he's okay. He, oh, Mosasaurus, no, no, bad boy. Bad, bad <gasps> crocodile. What's he doing? He's biting me. No. Shin, he's biting me. Really? I wasn't there for his birth. Oh, no, he doesn't think you're his mummy. He doesn't. Maybe he thinks I'm his mummy. I don't Hello. think he'll think you're his mummy either. Hello. Judging by how he oh. bit me. I, he didn't bite me. He's just, I think he's, oh. What was that? Like a meteor? That's all right. I don't, I think he's just spiky. Well, I'm glad we've got, I'm glad we haven't. Which one's the big one? Is it the Plesiosaur oh. or the Mosasaurus? This one was the big one. You sure? Yeah. He gets real big. They all start small, though. Okay, he's zero days old. He's quite hungry. Look, I'm going to feed him some pork chops. All right. I fed him three pork chops. Okay, he's not so hungry anymore. All right, maybe he'll... Okay, he's, bit, he's angry, but that's fine. He's not moving, but I guess maybe we should just leave him to it. I think maybe we do need to... If he's going to get bigger... He needs more water. Need to extend the pool out a bit. But it looks like he's not going to leave the water. Which Do you want is some help? A good thing. With the glass. Um, I'll get some dirt and some buckets for making the layer, the top layer of the pool. Oh, okay, yeah. But and it's I, going to be a long time until we get the glass for the walls. That's okay, that's okay. I can. Um, <sighs> I'm stressing out a bit, Shin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you worried that he's going to grow before. Well, I've given birth to two new dinosaurs and it's overwhelming me a bit. Yeah. Where's my Plesiosaur? How's he doing? And my Babalina. He's all right in here. Okay, he's going to need some food as well, though. They all eat so much meat. The pig farm is going to have to be working overtime. Do you think we should um, get some get some sheep as well? Maybe they can eat sheep. No, they can't. Maybe cows. I they need like, like a pig factory. A pig factory. Well, in order to feed all the dinosaurs. Like, this is the problem, you see. It, unless I want to continually be feeding my pigs and keeping them nourished, you mm -hmm. know, and breeding them together, like... Oh, it's going to be awkward, Shin. Oh, where's Compy? Is he still all right? He's still in there. He looks like he's doing okay. And the T-Rex, he's fine. Oh, okay. I'm st it's starting to get out of control. I'm going to start forgetting about my dinosaurs, and they're, they're going to starve. And we need, out. yeah, we need like a, a we need, caretaker. We need a zookeeper. Yeah. Okay. Do you know anybody? Crocodile, he's fine. Um, no, I don't know anyone. Maybe we could design like a suit for one of the dinosaurs so they can police themselves. Like we could have like a dino zookeeper. A Right. No? Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be doing any more than we have already, because already I think it's getting just about... It's getting out of hand. Do you think we've reached our dino cap? <sighs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm worried about feeding them, that's all. Yeah, yeah. With enough pork. pork porkers. No, rightly so as well, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a pork over here, a pig even. I can just, you know... I could go out hunting in the wild, but I don't want to have to keep going out hunting for, for stuff. No. Do you think they get more nourishment from... A cooked or a raw pork chop? I don't know, because like dinosaurs in the olden days didn't really have fire. No. Some of them breathed fire and they did need to cook their meat like that. But... I guess, oh, maybe what I could do though is breed dinosaurs and then kill them for their meat. And then feed them their own... Breed no. to other dinosaurs. That's how you get mad dinosaur disease. No, well, no, because they're different breeds of dinosaurs. Some of them are probably quite delicious. Oh. Like, if I killed Spiny, he would bring us a lot of meat. Oh, man, what do you reckon dinosaurs taste like? Like, food-wise? We went through this before. Birds. Oh, right, yeah, of course, yeah, birds. Chicken. Yeah, chickens, probably. Yeah. Most yeah. likely. A white... The white meat. Uh, what else is there to do? Uh, well, th that's about it, really. I mean, uh, we really do need to tidy this place up because I do think it's looking a bit haphazard and messy. Right. But I figure what we really should be doing is um, setting up a dino like a like a zoo, like a dinosaur zoo. Right. Yeah, that's true. Because we're druids, right? And I think the best way to like get by, because we're going to need to to make money on the side to fund our druidic activities, and why not just run a zoo? It's the perfect front. It's a good idea. Much like m the Mafia have, like, um, I don't know, other fronts, we have a zoo. Oh, I'm going to need to sleep. I'll go and do that. Warning, cultivating failed. Oh, crap. That's uh -oh. the Triceratops egg. Oh, no. I was looking forward to that. I think it might have, um, I think it might have exploded the machine again. Oh, no. There watch out. There might be a Phalosaurus out there. No, Careful. watch out. Watch out. Right. Don't get a Phalosaurus. Watch well, if it's sun sunny, it should just burn to death. Let's have a look. 
Uh, you say that, but what if it spawned with like a hat? Oh no, it looks like the egg's fine. Yeah? Oh! Yeah, the Triceratops DNA is fine. It's just, um, we're not going to be able to use it at the moment. That's okay. Cool. Give it another go. Oh, uh, spider. Going to kill him. There oh, is also oh. a Brachiosaurus DNA. Oh, now, now those are quite big. I think maybe even bigger than Spinosaurus. I think what we should probably do is, um, yeah, I don't know. We need a big pen for that, though. A big, big pen. Oh, Spinosaurus, he's pretty big. Uh, but he doesn't seem to be breaking free of his bonds. What's amazed me is how, how he doesn't mind staying in that little pen. I mean, he must have really weak legs, though. No. Sp Spinosaurus. Because he hasn't had a chance to run and roam. That's true. Yeah, maybe I feel a bit bad now you're saying all this. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Maybe I should be, maybe we should be... Less, more druidic, more like nature friendly. More thoughtful about the cares of our our, our, our charges. Yeah. Well, we didn't expect him to grow quite so big, did we? No. I, I, not... I, I knew he was big. But that's no excuse, Shin, for maltreatment. It's Ignorance not. is no excuse. How big is Tyrannosaurus? How big is T-Rex? He's probably just a still a babby. He's, he's getting there, though. I remember when he was like, yay high to a grasshopper. Yay high? Yay high. Yay mm. high and about so wide. <laughs> yay high and so wide. Oh, he's, he's grown Chisel. a lot. He's got ridges on his back now. He does have a friendly face, though. He does have a very friendly face. I don't I don't see how that friendly face could, could maul and brutally brutalize a person in any way. I think the movie's got it wrong. Jurassic Park got it wrong. These guys are actually quite friendly. And if you ran into them in like a dark alley, they'd probably just help you out. They wouldn't take your wallet and, and eat your bones. Well, I mean, they might. Depends what sort of state you are, though. They might, you know, if they've eaten already, it depends how hungry they are, how desperate they are. I don't think a T-Rex could pick anybody's pockets with The only people like who that. pick your pockets, Shin, and anyway, are the people who are desperate. You know, people who rob you in a dark alley. They're desperate people. Just like dinosaurs might get desperate. That's true, yeah. You, know, you, you, don't, you shouldn't, shouldn't judge a book by its cover. You're right. Oh. I shouldn't judge a dinosaur by its skin. That's right. 